students, this is Shana from EspressoEnglish.net, and today I've got two phrases for you. The first one is, set the record straight. This means to correct a mistaken fact or impression or belief that other people have. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're working on a project at work together with your coworker, Diane. During this project, Diane comes up with a really great idea, and you present this idea to your supervisor. Your supervisor loves the idea, but unfortunately, he mistakenly thinks that it was your idea instead of Diane's, and he tells other people in the company about it. Other coworkers begin to congratulate you on your great idea, but then you can say, Just a minute, let me set the record straight. This idea was Diane's, not mine. So that would be an example of setting the record straight, correcting a mistaken fact or mistaken belief that other people have. Another expression with the word record is have a great track record. If a person or company has a great track record, it means they have a history of accomplishments and success. For example, if you're considering hiring a consultant to help grow your company and you look at this consultant's history and you see that she has helped a lot of companies grow in the past, you could say she has a great track record when it comes to helping companies grow. Now, it's also possible to have the opposite, a terrible track record. This would mean a history of failures and bad work. For example, if there's a telephone company that's known for its bad customer service, when you call this company, it takes a very long time to get any help, and the people there just aren't very helpful, you could say the company has a terrible track record when it comes to customer service. So those are the two phrases for today. Set the record straight, meaning to correct a mistaken fact or belief that other people have, and have a great track record, or have a terrible track record, referring to someone's past history of successes and good work, or failures and bad work. Thanks for joining me for the phrase of the day, and I hope you'll tune in tomorrow to learn more spoken English phrases and expressions.